we are continuing with the same chapter that is chapter 4 tick 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 today i will introduce a new friend to you her name is rani she is very happy do you know why because she has got a baby sister do you also have baby sister or brother at home let us see what she has brought for her little sister Rani is telling her mom, Ma, I have brought sweets for Munia. Who is Munia? Yes, you guessed it correctly. Munia is her baby sister. And Rani has brought sweets for her. Now, what is her mother telling? Let us see. No, she can't eat. She is too small. We know that small children cannot eat everything that we eat. It will be fun to know when they start doing all these things, isn't it? So, Rani decided to write all these activities of her sister in her diary. Here are the pages from Rani's diary. She has marked what Munia did in a particular month. Before going into the details of Rani's diary, let us quickly recall what we have studied in our previous classes. How many months are there in a year? Yes, there are 12 months in a year. That is, one year is equal to 12 months. Can you name the months of the year? Yes, they are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Now look at this calendar. Which of these months have 30 days? Yes. You are right, April, June, September and November. Okay, now tell me which is the shortest month? Correct, February. What about the remaining months? All of them have 31 days. Now, let us see how to remember the number of days of months. I will tell you a trick. All of you close your fist like this. Ready? Okay. Now, can you see ups and downs here? Yes, we shall name them as hills and valleys. Okay, now let us assign the month's name for these hills and valleys. Shall we start? Okay, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Okay, this is over. Now we will move on to the next hand. July was over. Now August, September, October, November and December. Now, do you remember which were the months that we assigned on the hills? Okay, they have 31 days. It's really cool. Right? Okay, now the months which were in the valleys have 30 days. Except, correct, February. February do not have 30 days. It will have 28 or 29 days. 
Now, is it easy to remember the number of days of the months? Okay. Now, tell me where did we stop Rani's story? Correct. We were discussing about Rani's diary. Now, let us try to mark the activities of Munia on a timeline. Do you remember what a timeline is? Good. You have studied about a timeline in third standard. To draw a timeline, first we need to draw a line. Then mark the activities one by one. Are you ready? Shall we start? Okay. The first entry is 5th March 2005. March is the third month. So, it can be written as 5305. Yes, this is another way of writing the date. Munia was born on this day. So, below this we have to write was born. Next is 5th September 2005. Yes, the pages are jumbled up. We need to go in the correct order. So, the next entry should be 5th September 2005. On this day, she ate a banana. September is the ninth month. So, we can write it as 5905. Below that, we should write ate a banana. On 15th September 2005, she has got her first tooth. So, we can enter this as 15905 got the first tooth. Okay. The next entry is 10th November 2005. On this day, Munia sat up. November is the 11th month. So, we can write it as 10, 11, 0, 5. Below that, correct, sat up. On 20th November 2005, she started crawling. That is 20, 11, 0, 5. Good. You have already entered. Started crawling. What is the next entry? Yes, it is 5th January 2006. January is the first month. So, the next entry is 5106. On this date, Munia stood up. So, we can write stood up. On 2nd February 2006, she started walking. February is the second month. So, we can Enter it as 2206. Started walking. Did you also complete making the timeline? Okay. Now, let us answer some interesting questions based on this timeline. Ready? Look at the timeline. The first question is, Munia got her first tooth in September. How many months old was she then? 
what do we need to find out here? Yes, how many months have passed from March to September? Let us count. After March, we have April, May, June, July, August, September. Good, she was 6 months old. So, the answer is Munia got her first tooth when she was 6 months old. Next one, how old was Munia when she started walking? Okay, look at the timeline. She started walking in February 2006. How many months are passed? From March 2005 to February 2006. After March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, and February. Yes, she was 11 months old. So, Munia started walking when she was 11 months old. Was that not interesting to know? How long does it take for a child to walk on its own? Yes, but is it same for all children? Yes, I mean the children of all animals like cats, dogs. Let us check. Here are the activities of Rani's pup. Do you also have a puppy at home? Let us see. Rani had a pet puppy. After two weeks, it opened its eyes. She watched it grow like this. After three weeks, it got its first tooth and started eating. After four weeks, it started walking around but was still wobbling. It had a full set of teeth by the time it was seven months old. After one year, it was a grown-up dog and got its own puppies. Okay, the first entry is the puppy is born. Next, after two weeks, it opened its eyes. Good. After three weeks, got its first tooth. Also, started eating. Next one, after four weeks, started walking. Next, after seven months, had a full set of teeth. And the last entry is, after one year, it was a grown-up dog and got its own puppies. Could you also complete the timeline? Now, let us compare the timelines prepared for Munia and the pup. Okay, here is a table. You have to fill the table with the help of the timelines prepared for Munia and the pup so that we can compare how they were growing. When did Munia get her first tooth? Yes, 
when she was 6 months old. What about the puppy? Correct. When it was only 3 weeks old. That is not even 1 month. Because in a month there are 4 weeks. Did you fill it in your table? Let us move on. Next position is started walking. When did Munia start walking? Correct. When she was 11 months old. What about the puppy? Good. It started walking after 4 weeks. So soon, right? You can continue the table with more activities. What did you understand from this activity? Do all animals grow at the same speed? Correct. They don't grow at the same speed. Munia grew slower than Rani's pup. You can compare the growth pattern of different animals like this. Now, look at this photograph. Three grandpas are posing for photo. Yes, they are Appu elephant's grandpa, Chuchu rat's grandpa, and Rani's grandpa. Who looks oldest to you? Of course, Rani's grandpa. But look at their age. Yes, elephant Appu's grandpa is 95 years old. Chuchu rat's grandpa is 2 years old. And Rani's grandpa is 70 years old. Now, let us try to find the answers for some questions based on this. How much older is Elephant Appu's grandpa than Rani's grandpa? To find the answer, we need to find the difference between 95, yes that is Appu's grandpa's age and 70 that is Rani's grandpa's age. That means 95 minus 70 which is equal to 25. So, elephant Appu's grandpa is 25 years older than Rani's grandpa. Here is a question for you to think. Will Chuchurat's grandpa ever grow as old as Elephant Appu's grandpa? Think. Let us move on to another situation. Here is a letter written by Atif to his cousin Shabana. Shabana who stays at Nagpur received this letter on 7-5-2006 and this is Shabana's reply. Do you also write letters? To whom do you write letters? Already we have seen two different ways of writing the dates in Rani's diary. Now, let us try to write some more dates in different ways. Write which dates these stand for. In the first question, tell me which is the sixth month? Correct, it is June. So, it can be written as 20 June 2006. 
2019. Question number 2 is 7, 9, 16. Now tell me which is the ninth month? You are right, it is September and it can be written as 7 September 2016. Here are some more questions for you. You need to convert these dates into numbers. An example is given for you. 1st June 2015. It is written as 1615 because June is the 6th month. Next we have 30th May 2020. Try to do it. Next is 10th August 2017 and the last one is 4th September 2019. Let us go back to the letters. Looking at the letters, can you find the following? The first question is, how many days will Atif spend in his nanny's place? Yes, check the letter. It is written that I am going to my nanny's place on 5-5-2006. I will be back on 20th 5, 2006. So, how many days are there? From 5, 5, 2006 to 20th 5, 2006. Here is a calendar for you. You may start counting now. 1, 2, 3, 4, Yes, keep counting till you reach 20th May 2006. Good. How many days did you get? Yes, 16 days. So, Atif will spend 16 days in his nanny's place. From your school diary, or handbook, find out when the vacation starts and ends for you. Fill it in this table given. Also, find the number of days that you get as vacation. Do it after this class. Now, let us move on to another important area where we use dates. It is the food items and medicines that we purchase. Look at these images. What can you observe? These are very important information given on food or medicine packets. MFG date means manufacturing date which tells us that when the product was made and EXP date means expiry date which tells us till which date we can safely use the item. Now observe this image. Is it safe to use this medicine on 15th September 2019? Let us check. Here the manufacturing date is 26, 2017 and expiry date is 26, 2020. So, from June 2017 to June 2020, it is safe to use. The date 
15th September 2019 falls in between. So, it is safe to use it. Let us move on to another situation. Chandran went to a shop on 15th May 2006 to buy butter. When he checked the packet, he was confused. Let us see why. Here, the expiry date was not mentioned. Instead, it was written best before 180 days from the date of packing. He checked the date of packing. It was 15 1 2006. Tell me whether it is safe for Chandran to eat the butter on 15th May 2006. We need to calculate the expiry date. In which month the butter was packed? Yes, in January. Which month will it be after 180 days? If we take 30 days is equal to 1 month, 180 days is equal to 180 divided by 30 which is equal to 6 months. So, 180 days after 15th January is same as 6 months after 15th January which is 15th July. So, it is not safe to use it after 15th July 2006 and we know that Chandran bought it on 15th May 2006. So, it is safe for him to eat it on 15th May 2006. So, whenever you purchase food items or medicines, you have to check the manufacturing date and the expiry date and be sure that it is safe to eat. We have learned so many things today. Let us check and revise what all we have learned today. We have learned about different formats of writing the dates, the growth pattern of human beings and other animals. Also, we compared the lifespan of human beings with other animals. We calculated the number of days between two given dates and we have also discussed the importance of manufacturing date and expiry date. Hope you all enjoyed today's class. Thank you children.